So the use case is that the person has uh, five campaigns and people can subscribe to all campaigns. And the problem is that if someone is subscribing to all five campaigns, then the, all the campaigns uh, starting simultaneously. And the idea is that it would be okay if we would somehow like start the campaigns after each other and we would have a setup where, you know, they have like eight emails per campaign. Every campaign sends an email once a week. So it's okay if we are prolonging it for weeks. And the solution would be that we are making sure that when one campaign is running, the others are not, and then they are uh, completed step by step after each other. So let's look at it together. How can be this done? Originally, these campaigns were set up in a linear way. So you would fill out the form and then in the next steps, you would get your content. Uh, I would do this completely differently. I would not use a form <laughs> and I would not use uh, one campaign for each. Um, here you see an example, like I'm just going to create a simpler structure. Instead of five campaigns, I will make this example for three and using instead of five example emails, I would just use here three. So I created nine emails, call them A123, B123 and C123, each of them representing a different email belonging to a different campaign. In the original example, the form was starting a campaign. It was a campaign form. I would do it differently. I would work with segments in this case. And I know this is not logical maybe, but we can have the best results this way. So I created three forms representing the three different topics, what someone can subscribe for. Each form will have uh, an action and express the interest in that certain topic. So for example, form A will add the tag called interest A. If I go back to B, that will I also have an action interest B. Then I created a segment, looks like this, called interest ABC, and that includes all the tags. So if someone has any of these tags, they will be in this uh, segment. So what does the segment do? It starts a campaign, and I will have just one campaign. I call it ABC campaign. It will start with a segment. So you can change this actually by clicking here. And then I choose here ABC. In this case, it would be started with any of these, but we just want the segments. So if someone is in my ABC segment, the campaign start for this person. Uh, let's say I just have here three uh, emails and I will not have here email one, two, three, because I want to make sure that I remember that this should be email A1, email A2, and email A3. So this is my first topic here. You see, I already said this here. Good. So this is gonna be, uh, there's still bug is still here. Uh, this is gonna be my, uh, my first campaign. I mean, the first part of my campaign. So let's continue further. How can I make sure that someone enters here will go to the right place? So we're gonna have here an intermediate condition check. And we're gonna look for a tag and see if the tag interest A, if the tag is here, interest in A, is the tag here? And yes, then we can continue further. How can I make sure that someone is not going multiple times? I will show that to you in a moment as well. If not, then I will check for another condition. And I will check if that person is interested in B. Then I have here again a yes and no, and I will check for interest C as well, which is another tag. So great. Now I all I have to do is set the, the, the emails here. So I have to make sure that all the emails are sent out. Let me uh, do this in just one second. Like this. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. Maybe this is better like this. So if someone comes in with any of these, then we check first if they have A. If yes, they go through this. And here we need to do another action. We have to remove that tag because the person's interest is gone. So we're going to take interest A away. Interest A goes away. And we jump to the first step here. We 
could jump here or here, doesn't matter. I would actually jump here because this will be automatically no. Jump to an event. But just to stay consistent, I will jump to interest A. And I will call this recheck the campaign. Recheck interest. Recheck interest. So, like this. Let's set for these two as well. Like this. And so, our person comes in, for example, they, they fill out B, then they come here. Is it interest A? No, it's B. So they come here, then they get the first email, the second email. In the meanwhile, they will fill out interest A. So they will not restart the campaign because they already member because of the segment membership. They will simply continue here. And when this happens, they jump back to interest A. They come back, this will, this will be yes, because in the meanwhile, they filled it out. And then it goes further goes through and if they fill out C in the meanwhile then they will go back to C and it's very important in the they enter the campaign with the right tag and they exit they will remove the tag here so if they would for example all three remove then they just quit the campaign I hope that makes sense if you have any questions you think I should cover try to approach me in the forums or on joycar.com check out my website there are lots of tutorials there and if you want to support me, you can also become a member. See you next time.